What is up guys, Dave back again for another trucking vlog and we are delivering once again down in Laredo, man. They have been loving sending me down to Laredo. So we are in Encinal right now where we were in, was it the last one or the one before that where we left the loves here. And I'm actually gonna show y'all something today that I've never shown in a video. And that's how we do a trailer inspection. So it's not like it's not like a DOT inspection that we're doing. We're doing an inspection for this trailer to go into Mexico. Because this trailer is gonna go into Mexico. We're dropping it off at one of the forwarding brokers that forwarded it into, into Mexico. And before they will accept the trailer, we have to do an inspection and you have to kind of notate any damage that's to the trailer you have to notate uh the type of tires that are on the trailer uh the trailer license number etc and i was gonna go ahead and do this are these guys just chilling here no okay that's an always stop so they stopped early too, which is nice. So we'll give them a nice little wave. Ooh, 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 ooh. Thank you, bud. Smart guys there in them trucks. They know we need a little bit of room to turn. There's DOT right there, speaking of which. Let's go on ahead and get up in this truck stop real quick before he decides he wants to do something. <laughs> Complete stop, of course. Nobody's coming, we're all good. Yeah, so we're gonna do this little inspection right over here, man. We're gonna actually pull into this road ranger. It looks pretty empty compared to, there's another CFI over there, actually. Yeah, that's what we'll do. I mean, both of them are probably empty this time of day, but uh, more space over here for me to do my thing. So we're gonna turn in here. Semi enter. You always see like at the main truck stops, it's always trucks. They call it semis here. Entrada semi. That's in Spanish, guys. Look how smart I am. Right there. That means semi-entrance in Spanish. <laughs> Some people really always think I'm serious, too, which is the funniest thing ever. Hell, we'll do it right here. This is a perfect little spot to turn up and back in. Watch this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, bud. Don't come this way, Prime. I'm trying to do something here. Let's see where we lined up for beautifully for that spot right there. That is perfecto. Perfecto mundo. <laughs> All right, enough Spanish for today. Make sure nobody sneaks in behind me. That's why I'm checking my left side. There we go, and it's just a straight back right in, man. Easy as pie, easy as pie. Now, if I was staying here, I probably would have parked in one of the side spots. For a few reasons well there's a curb next to it so i would only have one truck back next to me if i was stopping here for a while or a 10 hour break and number two it just keeps things easier for other guys to back in that's why usually if i back in i try to back in next to another truck or pull through next to another truck whatever the case is just to leave the space open for other guys i've been trying to do that since i pretty much started I want to say the first couple weeks, I always just went for the open spots with no other trucks around. But now that, you know, I'm a bit better, I do those things. Anyways, let me grab my uh, paperwork real quick, and we will get this trailer inspection underway. Oh, what'd you do with it, Dave? Driver's log, permits. I thought it was this book right here. Oh, this is lumper crap. What the heck did you do with it, Dave? I just had it. I used it not long ago. Oh, hell. Well, if I don't have that, I got to go by the terminal. How did I... I always put it right back up here. Unless it's at the very freaking bottom. Wait, it's down here. There it is. I was about to say, I put it in the wrong spot because I usually leave it up there. Anyways, this is going to be it. I'm sure of it because I knew it was in here. I knew I didn't do nothing wrong with it. There it is. All right. So contract freighters. Uh, on all three of these pages with the carbon copies and all that. They usually give us one back and keep the others. Um, I keep this as like a little clipboard so I can write on it. And yeah, 
We put the company here. So let me just fill out this basic stuff. We gotta put the company. We gotta put the date, it's 518. Trailer number is 37943. Time is 11.17 a.m. Driver's name and truck, Dave. All right, and then after that, we just do the inspection. So, yes, I turned off the truck. A lot of people make a big deal when I turn off the, yeah, you turn off your truck too much. I'm surprised CFI hadn't got angry with you that, you know, you're turning it off and on so much and damaging this and that. I, I think CFI would be a little bit more upset with me if somebody stole my truck. That's why I don't leave it running. It's also part to do with my vlogs because I, oh, <laughs> that dude's backing in right here, but I'm trying to do this inspection. <laughs> he probably saw that. All right, let's see. So both of these are gonna be Michelin. So if you have left front, left right. Um, so we're gonna do Michelin and Michelin for the left side. And we're gonna look for any damage on the trailer basically. Cause you gotta mark, you see you have a little trailer here and you have to mark any like damage or anything that's on the trailer. So I don't see anything. That's actually considered a little bit of damage right there, so. Front and left, right down here. Put a little mark. So I put a little mark on the picture of the trailer right there to show a little bit right there too. Just those little things right there, nothing else too crazy. I don't know if I'm supposed to put like where this tape is and stuff. I put a little mark there just to show that. Um, I don't know, they never train you how to do this. I've just looked at the paperwork from when, uh, see a little bit of damage right here on the right side of the trailer. So, which is gonna be the passenger side, which is gonna be over here toward the front. Go out right there and yeah, it looks about it for damage or anything. But yeah, they don't really teach you how to do this, but I've just been in the inspection bays and watched them do it. And then also, cause like I didn't know what any of this stuff, some of the stuff meant. I was like, what is this? And I looked at their paperwork and since it was loaded and sealed uh, before I got the trailer, I can't do anything inside obviously. And it asks you on here if it's loaded. And then basically you just check everything else. Um, belly light, marker lights, tail lights, license plate lights. Well, I got my lights on right now. Um, brake lines, seal number. I have to go copy down the seal number. The couplings, the pigtail base, the dolly handle, the mud flaps, the skirt, the under tray, and the airlines. You check all of that and you put a mark that you checked it and then you, you notated the damage around the trailer, the tire type, everything else. And then that's it, you're done. All right, boys, so that is all done now. Um, everything was good. Same as, you know, when I did my pre-trip this morning and everything. Um, but, you know, I wanna do it before I actually get it 30 minutes down the road to this broker, because they are gonna want that. Rather than standing there, do it on their lot, holding up people or whatever the case may be, I go ahead and do it here. Now, I didn't realize I could do this myself originally. Usually, I would go by the Laredo Terminal and there's a trailer inspection bay that you have to go through whenever you come in. They inspect the trailer that you're driving, make sure everything's okay with it, etc. And, you know, that's just what you do when you go through Laredo. Same as Joplin, you know, they inspect everything when you go through Joplin too. Well, when you go to the Laredo Terminal, they give you a little paperwork and they tell you to take that to the broker. Well, the last time I went there, they had me scheduled to go to a broker in Laredo. Well, I went by the Laredo terminal first because I'm like, I gotta get this inspection paperwork, you know? I have to go here and let them do it so I can get the paperwork because the broker's gonna want that. And uh, when I got there, I told them that. They was like, is it loaded? I was like, yeah. I was like, I'm taking it to the broker. I'm just here to get the inspection form. And he looked at me kind of funny. He's like, you can do that yourself. I was like, I can? <laughs> he was like, yeah. I was like, I didn't know that. You know what I mean? He's like, yeah, you do it yourself. And so, yeah, I ended up getting a pack of the trailer, um, 
inspection forms and I've been doing it myself ever since, you know, just going through and marking every little thing kind of like they did. I just kind of figured it out for myself. Quarter mile. Turn left on I 35 South. And what's funny is I never knew like any of this stuff. So like, you can go ahead state trooper. I definitely don't want you behind me, so. <laughs> But anyways, um, I didn't know that you Turn could left, do any of this. South. Man, there is state troopers. Man, there is state troopers hot and heavy around here, ain't there? They're just everywhere. Make sure we come to another complete stop. We do not want any business with the state troopers. Oh, he just pulled somebody over right there. Just got that pickup truck pulled over. All right, this is where we saw the dog that last video when he was running around here. Yep. Anyways, as I was trying to say, uh, I didn't know the very first time they sent me to a broker in Laredo, I had no clue I had to do that inspection for them. I didn't know. It was like my first time delivering to a broker. And like, I got there and the broker's like, where's the inspection form? I'm like, what inspection form? Like, I don't know. Nobody taught me this. I didn't come to Laredo with my trainer. I don't know how this works. And uh, he's, he's like, you need to have this. And he showed me like an inspection form from, you know, another driver or another company, whatever. I was like, where do I get that? He was like, somebody from your company has to do it. I was like, are you serious? He's like, yeah. So then I I go to Laredo and, you know, I ask him about it. Or I called first, I think, my fleet manager. I think I called Tim. I was like, Tim, they're asking for this inspection form. What do I do? Oh, just go by the Laredo terminal. They'll, they'll inspect it and give you the paperwork. Oh, okay. So then after that, I thought I had to always go to Laredo and get the trailer inspected by the terminal until like I said I figured out later on that oh I can do this myself so I had no clue don't pass me on the right dude I was just getting you freaking I swear to god man these people it's like as soon as I got over he started to, yeah there he goes look he's all pissed off now I'm getting over for the truck that's freaking on the side of the road you moron Oh, he's on his phone. He's sitting there like this, too. Literally. Coolsys.com. C-O-O-L-S-Y-S.com. Texting and driving, fool. Not paying attention to what you're doing. Not paying attention. You didn't even get over for the truck on the side of the road back there with his triangles out. God bless, man. These people are so impatient, dude. Let's take a spin to a foreign place. These open highways are calling our name. Now it's time for us to escape, escape to a world we don't know, escape into the great unknown, escape to a world we don't know, escape into the great unknown.